there has been an enormous demand for establishing new SITPs in the country. And in response, to cater to this demand, the union government has decided uh, and considered extension of the scheme with an allocation of about 500 crores for under the 11th five-year plan. So there will be a number of new SITPs that will be sanctioned with this uh, allocation. The scheme was launched in 2005 with the aim to encourage groups of entrepreneurs to come together to establish the uh, integrated textile parks with world-class infrastructure. It, it, it addresses the needs of uh, the entrepreneurs on a cluster-based approach with uh, sustainable development and Government of India acts as a facilitator providing 40% of the project cost. In the northeastern states, of course, we provide 90% and uh, the allocation is with an upper limit of 40 crores. There is a project management consultant who is appointed for hand-holding support from concept to commissioning. This is the broad objective of the scheme. It will facilitate textile units to meet international environmental and social standards, create new parks with potential growth centers provided with world-class infrastructure. The sectors that are covered under the scheme include the entire textile value chain, starting from cotton ginning, spinning, texturizing, weaving, processing, garmenting, technical textiles, and other ancillaries. The components that are eligible for funding under the SITP program, these include land, common infrastructure, buildings, and factory buildings. The project cost that includes land, common infrastructure, common facilities, and factory buildings, while Government of India would not support uh, procurement of land, but the allocation can be used on all other heads. The SPV is expected to raise 60% of the allocation, while Government of India provides 40% of the project cost. The implementation will be through project-specific SPVs. The SPV shall be a corporate body under the Companies Act. There are uh, scheduled uh, detailed documents for this purpose. User entrepreneurs shall have a majority stake, that is at least 51% of the stake. 49% of the stake can be owned by central and state government agencies, financial institutions. And the SPV will be responsible for receipt of government grant, mobilizing balance contribution, procurement of land, design, construction and maintenance of the infrastructure in the park.